Hi Zulu, Charlie Fox here in the this new video is just a sort of a commentary video so I'm not going to review anything but yeah I'm going to show you this Baofeng or Baofeng BF triple eight S. So this is a UHF uh, um, walkie talkie and you can get it for as low as 700 pesos if you search for the right sellers on OLX so I saw something on YouTube before that um, shows how a regular walkie-talkie or a, a regular radio so for example this uh, UV82 that I have here so this is a UV82 and this is a BF Triple eight S, and uh, um, he was demonstrating how one radio, a sort of a an amateur or a professional radio, can communicate with a walkie-talkie. That's from CDR King, and upon checking, I find out that these walkie-talkies on uh, CDR King have sort of a pre-programmed either 8 or 22 channels so the only thing with these uh, walkie-talkies are the 8 channel uh, walkie-talkies correspond to the PMR446 frequencies and the other walkie-talkies that operate on 22 channels or more I think there are others, yeah, 22 channels operate on the FRS channels. So these cha uh, kinds of walkie talkies are um, not in compliant with the standards that are set by NTC. Uh, currently, the FRS, the counterpart of FRS or PMR in the Philippines, is the SRRS which operates at a different frequency i think it's 357 megahertz pmr operates on 446 megahertz uhf and uh, uh frs operates at uh 462 megahertz if i'm not mistaken let me check <laughs> anyway uh regardless they are operating at frequencies that should not be that should not they are not allowed <laughs> to operate so yeah, so yeah tama. 462 megahertz yung uh, FRS and uh, yeah that's a bit of a questionable <laughs> for me but for educational purposes naman yung sinabi nun na sa YouTube na this is just to demonstrate that you can communicate between a walkie-talkie from CDR King and a regular radio, so such as this one, and it's doable. Yeah. Um, is it legal? Uh, it's legal to buy from CDR King, of course, and they're selling them, so I suppose yes. But when it comes to this one that looks more professional. Huh, people might have questions or I don't know. But actually, kahit naman sino, ngayon pwede makabili nito. Yun nga, it's so cheap and it's easily obtainable. I had to, well, um, I got my license. I am A class C. So, uh, I have a technician's license. And really, obtaining a ham radio license is very easy. You just have to... Uh, take the seminar and then uh, attend the seminar and then take the exam which is ano madali lang eh I mean if everything you need to know they have uh, para or the Philippine Amateur Radio Association provides all the things that you need in the handbook and then it's relatively cheap to get a ham radio license so uh, for those na gustong magradyo, I would really recommend that you get your license first. But, yeah, it, because of the ease of 
acquiring equipment such as this one it's so easy it's online you don't even have to prove that you are an amateur radio operator uh, you can purchase one so you can purchase these which are from China which are very cheap even more friend budget friendly are these walkie talkies from CDR King and then the more expensive name brands you can also buy online at discounted prices what makes this very difficult for uh, well at which puts uh, licensed ham radio operators at a disadvantage are the registration of equipment and uh, which is a bit difficult and not so cheap so there's you have to have filing fee a purchase permit to purchase and permit to possess uh, aside from the um, 1000 pesos that the seller requires for you to pay for the I forgot what they call it yung sa inventory at that so anyway there so uh, the units the good units of branded have icom uh vertex standard and uh kenwood and what's the other one yesu they're not cheap because they are the more well-known manufacturers and then they're not cheap to register well relatively i guess for me who's uh starting out with this uh, hobby they're not cheap compared to just purchasing a Chinese made and uh, they don't ask you for the other stuff so which kind which um, makes me ask questions like what is I mean this I mean advantage why are we the legal um, ham radio operators at a disadvantage compared to the illegal ones <laughs> in the in long uh, this one actually if you think about it this one operates at the uh, around the same power as the CDR King walkie talkies and I have programmed this at the frequencies of uh, PMR 446 which has a channel since this buffing only has 16 16 channels so I can program this on the 8 channels and then I can technically well I can use it using the frequencies used by the walkie talkies on from CDR King and they can communicate and that's my use for that pero hindi ko hindi ko na hindi ko naman kailangan ng lisensya kasi I mean pwede naman may walkie talkie lang from CDR King which are well, sort of I guess considered toys <sighs> anyway, and then people will ask you about this and the legality of this na dahil mukha siyang professional I mean the packaging is different compared to the uh, walkie talkies from CDR King Anyway, um, it's a sort of a long rant uh, questioning the uh, implementation of rules here in the Philippines about amateur radio. But uh, anyway, so yun lang. Uh, just wanted to share sort of um, questions. And uh, if you are a ham radio operator in the Philippines, uh, you can comment, discuss in the comments below. So. Sana we get a healthy discussion of uh, regarding these things. Uh, hope to see you in the next uh, video. Uh, hopefully it's a shorter one and it's a review this time. Or maybe a demonstration again for again uh, just for educational purposes of how to hook up these radios with maybe, I don't know, uh, CDR King or how to use this with uh, another one, the UV-82. So, see you again next time. Bye.